हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नंद कुमार राव बावले फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अंबाजोगे इज गोइंग टू डील विथ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स सो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट थियरी ऑफ बकिंग हेम्स पाइथेरम एज वेल एज वी हैव सिंप्लीफाइड वन ऑफ द न्यूमेरिकल सो टूडे वी विल सॉल्व फ्यू मोर न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन बकिंग हेम्स पाइथेरम सो वेरी फर्स्ट वी सी दिस न्यूमेरिकल वेर द एफिशियंसी ऑफ फैम depends on density rho and dynamic viscosity mu angular velocity omega and diameter d of the rotor and discharge cube express efficiency in terms of dimensionless parameters so now looking at this what we can do is the efficiency is function of the terms which terms are given here that we see here <coughs> density viscosity angular velocity density viscosity angular velocity diameter and discharge diameter and discharge q so these are the independent variables or this can be written as so f1 the function of these terms that is efficiency rho mu omega d and q is equal to 0 so either of these two can be written <coughs> in this way so here uh, we can see these dimensions of these uh, variables so here we have n is equal to 6 number of variables out of 6 variables and we have m that is equal to 3 fundamental dimensions fundamental dimensions so therefore we can write n minus m number of pi terms pi terms can be formed so now uh, very first uh, let us see what are the <coughs> dimensions of each term so dimension of efficiency is dimensionless that is nothing but m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 so this is dimensionless whereas density rho which has got dimension kg per meter cube mass L to the power of minus 3 then dynamic viscosity is em L to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 then omega that is angular velocity is radian per second and dimension is t to the power of minus 1 whereas diameter d is distance has got dimension L and Q discharge that is meter cube per second that is meter cube meter is distance to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so these are the <coughs> <coughs> units or dimensions for the terms so we have six terms including six variables including independent variable and dependent variables so now we have to consider some of the terms as the repeating variables <coughs> so which repeating variables we have to choose here that we will decide so very first term that we choose is dimension or geometrical property so diameter is having geometrical property then second one is flow property angular velocity is having flow property
and third dimension that we need is having the <coughs> fluid property we take density is having fluid property now we start with first pi term so our uh, pi terms we will write first pi terms so pi 1 is equal to d to the power of a 1 omega to the power of b 1 then rho to the power of c 1 efficiency then pi to ter d to the power of a 2 omega to the power of b 2 rho to the power of c 2 and second one is we can take as mu so efficiency we have taken this is repeating variable rho so mu is there so mu and then we have pi 3 term because already we have decided how many pi terms we get n minus m that is 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 pi terms we get pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so d to the power of a 3 omega to the power of b 3 rho to the power of c 3 and this term is remaining is q q <coughs> So three terms are uh, repeating variables and three terms are appearing in each pi term independently. Now we select first pi term. We call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. This as equation number 3 this as equation number 4 now pi 1 term which pi 1 term we are going to select pi 1 is equal to d to the power of a 1 omega to the power of b 1 rho to the power of c 1 efficiency so pi terms are dimensionless therefore dimension of pi is m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 dimension for diameter is l l to the power of a1 dimension for omega is t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b1 then dimension for rho is ml to the power of minus 3 to the power of c1 and efficiency is dimensionless term so m to the power of 0 L to the power of 0, T to the power of 0. So, even if you won't write this M, L to the power of 0, T to the power of 0, doesn't matter. So, this is not required, but to avoid confusion, I have written here. <coughs> so, taking powers of powers of M. So, on left hand side, power of M is 0. On right hand side, power of this m is m to the power of c1 so here m to the power of 0 need not to write so c1 is equal to 0 directly we get here m to the power of 0 l to the power of a is there t to the power of minus b is there m to the power of c1 so c1 is 0 then taking pi 2 terms so second term first or second pi terms second pi term so what is second pi term we take it here second pi term is pi 2 is equal to sorry not second pi term so we have to take powers of l powers of el 
the power of EL on left hand side is 0 is equal to power of L on right hand side is A1 then power of L here is minus 3C1 so now you can see here <coughs> C1 is 0 therefore we get A1 as 0 A1 will be 0 From first pi term, we got C10, A10. Then powers of we take as T, powers of T. So power of T on left hand side is 0 here. Power of T is minus B1 on right hand side, minus B1. Then 0, nothing makes no difference therefore b1 is also equal to 0 so this pi1 term where we are going to say it as <coughs> d to the power of a1 omega to the power of b1 rho to the power of c1 efficiency so pi1 is equal to so d to the power of 0 omega to the power of 0 rho to the power of 0 efficiency that is nothing but pi1 term is equal to efficiency so this is one correlation which we have obtained so pi1 term is nothing but equal to efficiency that is fifth equation so now we go for second pi term <coughs> that is pi 2 pi 2 term which is given by d to the power of a2 omega to the power of b2 rho to the power of c2 mu so power uh, dimension of pi 2 is m to the power of 0, l to the power of 0, t to the power of 0. Then dimension of diameter is l, l to the power of a2. Dimension of angular velocity is t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b2. Dimension of rho is m, l to the power of minus 3, c2. And dimension of mu is em l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 so we can see here <coughs> dimension of mu is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 so just we simplify this m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 then l to the power of a2 t to the power of minus b2 m to the power of c2 L to the power of minus 3C2, M to the power of 1, L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of minus 1. <coughs> then collecting powers of M, we get on left hand side power of M is 0. So here it is C2, here it is 1. m to the power of 0, m to the power of c2, m to the power of 1 or this is c2 is equal to minus 1, c2 is equal to minus 1. So now taking powers of <coughs> EL, so power of EL is 0 on left hand side on right hand side power of L is A2 then minus C minus 3 C2 then L to the power of minus 1 <coughs> A2 minus 3 C2 and 1 okay. 
so here uh, we know value of c2 is minus 1 so a2 is equal to 3c2 plus 1 we can write or a2 is equal to 3 into minus 1 plus 1 so therefore a2 is equal to minus 3 plus 1 so a2 is equal to minus 2 we get a2 as minus 2 a2 is equal to minus 2 then taking powers of so we take powers of t taking powers of t we can take it as power of t on right hand side left hand side is 0 is equal to t to the power of minus b2 then t to the power of minus 1 so b2 is equal to minus 1 we obtain powers of a2 b2 c2 so this pi term pi 2 term we can write as pi 2 term is equal to d to the power of a2 omega to the power of b2 rho to the power of c2 mu so now d to the power of a2 a2 means minus 2 omega to the power of b2 means minus 1 rho to the power of c2 means minus 1 mu so this becomes mu divided by omega rho d square because these three terms have negative power so those will be in the denominator so we got this as pi 2 term pi 2 term is equal to mu divided by omega rho d square <coughs> so now coming to this next term that is pi 3 term so pi 3 term is given by d to the power of a3 then omega to the power of b3 rho to the power of c3 into q so here you can see this pi 3 term is q from equation 4 is q so now dimensions of pi 3 term is dimensionless m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 then the di diameter has got dimension l l to the power of a3 omega so angular velocity t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b3 then m l to the power of minus 3 to the power of c3 and dimension for q is meter cube per second meter cube means l to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so we can see here q dimension is l to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so again simplifying this m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to <coughs> l to the power of a3 t to the power of minus b3 m to the power of c3 l to the power of minus 3 c3 l to the power of 3 t to the power of minus 1 so collecting powers of m so on left hand side power of m is 0 then power of m is c3 so we can see here m power is 0 on right hand side only c3 is that so c3 is equal to 0 so here we get c3 is equal to 0 <coughs> then collecting powers of l so on left hand side power of l is 0 on right hand side power of l is a to the power of 3 
then power of L is minus 3C3 and here plus 3 plus 3 so now A3 is equal to 3C3 minus 3 or A3 is equal to C3 is 0 means this term becomes 0 answer becomes minus 3 so A3 is equal to minus 3 then coming to the powers of <coughs> powers of this t so on left hand side power of t is 0 on right hand side power of t is minus b3 and minus 1 so therefore b3 is equal to minus 1 b3 is equal to minus 1 so looking at these values <coughs> we know pi 3 term pi 3 is equal to d to the power of a3 omega to the power of b3 rho to the power of c3 so d to the power of a3, a3 means minus 3, d to the power of minus 3, omega to the power of b3 means minus 1, so rho to the power of c3, c3 value is 0, q. So this can be written as these two are negative terms, this is 0 means this term becomes 1, so therefore q divided by omega d to the power of 3, so this is pi 3 term. So we got pi 3 term as q divided by q divided by d cube omega. <coughs> now we got this pi 3 term. Now we'll write one equation function f f1 of efficiency that is pi 1 term then mu divided by omega rho d square comma q divided by d cube omega d cube omega is equal to 0 or this can be written as efficiency is equal to function psi of pi 1 term so we have written it here you can see so it can be written as efficiency is equal to psi equation 1 or equation 2 so equation this equation already we have written so now we are writing first equation that is mu omega rho d square q divided by d to the power of 3 omega so this is the correlation between the terms so this is how we have obtained the equation for in the correlation between efficiency and the other terms Now coming to the next problem. So here fluid density rho viscosity mu flows at an average velocity v through a circular pipe of diameter d. Show by dimensional analysis that shear stress at the pipe wall is given as this that is tau is equal to rho v square function of rho v d divided by mu so now we take these variables first uh, we have here 
five variables that is rho mu v d rho mu v d and shear stress tau the dimension for rho is kg per meter cube that is m l to the power of minus 3 dimension for mu is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 and velocity meters per second that is l t to the power of minus 1 diameter d is l and for shear stress we see here density shear stress tau m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 so these are the dimensions so we have 6 variables number of variables is equal to sorry 5 and fundamental dimensions dimensions are 3 so therefore so this is n value this is m value so number of pi terms we get is n minus m that is 5 minus 3 we get 2 pi terms so we decide uh, the repeating variables repeating variables we will take as first uh, for geometrical property property we take diameter then for flow property we take here as velocity v then fluid property we take rho so these three we select as the repeating variable variables now we can write pi terms so pi 1 terms pi terms we write pi terms so before writing pi terms we will write the equation that is the shear stress is function of psi of the rest of the terms that is we say as rho mu v d or we can write this as shear stress is function of the term pi 1 pi 2 terms so pi 1 term Pi, pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 or this can be written as pi 1 is function of pi 2 and pi 3 so now we write the pi terms so pi terms pi 1 term is equal to first property is geometrical property d d to the power of a1 then v to the power of b1 rho to the power of c1 and shear stress then pi 2 term we get only two terms not three terms so pi 1 function of pi 2 that's all we get only two terms not three terms so therefore here there will be change so d to the power of a2 
v to the power of v2 root to the power of c2 so we are uh, having one more dimension mu so we get only two pi terms <coughs> therefore taking first pi term pi1 is equal to d to the power of a1 b to the power v to the power of b1 c to the power uh, uh, rho to the power of c1 tau so pi to the pi1 dimension is m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to d l to the power of a1 v to the power meters per second velocity is l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b1 <coughs> then rho to the power of c1 rho density is m l to the power of minus 3 c1 shear stress m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 so we can simplify this as m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 is equal to l to the power of a1 l to the power of b1 t to the power of minus 1 sorry minus b1 m to the power of c1 <coughs> l to the power of minus 3 c1 m to the power of 1 l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 so now collecting powers of m we get on left hand side power of m is 0 is equal to power of m is c1 power of m is 1 plus 1 so therefore c1 is equal to minus 1 we get then collecting powers of l we have l here at four locations <coughs> on left hand side 0 a1 plus of b1 and minus of 3c1 minus 1 so here uh, we know power of c1 i'm oh, sorry c1 value we know but a1 b1 we don't know we keep it as it is then we go for this power of t power of t on left hand side is 0 power of t here is minus b1 and here minus 2 means b1 is equal to minus 2 so now we know a and b values therefore <coughs> uh, sorry a and c uh, uh, b and c we can find out a1 value a1 is equal to 3c1 minus b1 plus 1 so here we substitute value of c as minus 1 means minus 3 b value is minus 2 minus of minus plus 2 then plus 1 so a1 value will become 0 you can see here once again so this <coughs> value is minus 1 this value is minus 2 so minus 1 into minus 3 is going to become minus 3 so when we transfer it on other side so this sign have changed minus 3 then when we substitute b is minus 2 minus of minus becomes plus then plus 1 so 3 3 gets cancelled a1 is zero. now we can write pi 1 term so pi 1 term was given as d to the power of a1 
v to the power of v1 rho to the power of c1 tau so pi1 is equal to d to the power of a1 a1 value is 0 v to the power of b1 b1 value is minus 2 then rho to the power of c1 c1 is minus 1 tau so pi1 is equal to tau divided by rho v square so this is the first term pi term that is pi1 now we see for second term <coughs> pi2 term so pi2 term is rho sorry dv rho d to the power of a2 v to the power of b2 rho to the power of c2 mu so dimensions of pi r m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 l to the power of a2 then l t to the power of minus 1 meters per second to the power of b2 kg per meter cube means m l to the power of minus 3 c2 m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 is the dimension for mu so m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 is dimension for mu v dimension is l t to the power of minus 1 t dimension is l l meters per second kg per meter cube so this is there okay then m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 which is equal to l to the power of a2 l to the power of b2 t to the power of minus b2 m to the power of c2 l to the power of minus 3 c2 m to the power of 1 L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of minus 1. So now collecting powers of powers of M, we get on left hand side it is 0, on right hand side it is C2 plus 1, 0 c2 plus 1 so c2 is equal to minus 1 we got it as c2 is equal to minus 1 therefore then collecting powers of directly i oh, go for this t okay then we come for uh, l so powers of t <coughs> left hand power of t is 0 here minus b2 and t to the power of minus 1 so therefore <coughs> we can write this b2 as minus 1 so we got b2 as minus 1 now we collect powers of l power of l on left hand side is 0 is equal to a2 plus of b2 plus of minus 3c2 minus 1 so we know power uh, value of c and b we don't know value of a so therefore a2 is equal to minus b2 plus 3c2 plus 1 so substituting values of this <coughs> here a2 is equal to <coughs> minus b2 plus 3c2 plus 1 so a2 is equal to minus b minus of minus it will become plus 1 then c value is minus minus plus minus 3 
10 plus 1. So A2 we get as minus 1. So now we obtain value of A, B, C as minus 1. So therefore, by 2 term, we can write as d to the power of A2, V to the power of B2, root to the power of C2, mu. So this can be written as d to the power of minus 1, V to the power of minus 1, root to the power of minus 1, mu. Pi 2 term. So pi 2 term can be written as mu divided by rho Vd. So these three terms come into the denominator. So this we got pi 2 term. So now we can write as pi 1 term is function of pi 2. So as it is given in this problem, itself okay it's not different that we see now here we can see pi 1 is function of <coughs> pi 2 term what is pi 1 term that we see tau divided by rho v square tau divided by rho v square is function of pi 2 term is mu divided by rho v d or tau is equal to rho v square psi of mu rho v d. So what is given in this question? Tau is equal to rho v square. So this is correct psi function of rho v d divided by mu rho v d divided by mu so here somewhere there may be a mistake in the question itself that we have to rectify who will see it ok thank you so this is how we have correlated stress with the remaining terms so we have not committed any mistake if you find uh, any mistake in these calculations please then wait to me so that I can correct. <coughs> okay, thank you.